right, so this is the backup gun match once again, and today I'm actually using a legit backup gun. This is an NAA mini revolver. If I can, there we go. Remember how to get the cylinder out. So they make the, these things have been made for like 30 years, actually more than 30 years. North American Arms has been making these things for 30 years. Before that, I think it was Freedom Arms that actually designed the thing. Um, this is probably the most terrible, worst idea, worst for a actual fighting revolver. But I got five shots of 32, of 22 mag. With, come on. So, okay, there we go. Five shots, single action only. I have a front sight, no rear sight. And, uh, but to make this competitive, we're shooting 22 mag instead of 22 rimfire. Let's see how this goes and if I can do better than the Taurus curve. Uh, hands, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. I have no idea where most of those went. <laughs> None whatsoever. Now I have to unload it using the axis. There we go. All right. All right. Range is clear. Eleven yeah. seconds. All right. So that one, I was trying to aim at the head. That's fine. Didn't really work. This one. I was aiming at the body, and I hit down there, so I do get a couple points, and I tried, I had a second shot on that one. This one, I actually got, I think I have to aim a bit low, but, seven. so there we go, uh, not a complete disaster, but one of the worst performances I've ever turned in at a backup gun match. Uh, so three more stages to go. All right. Kilt in the streets. Uh, oh, totally. I got two paper targets and two steel targets. They're not very big steel targets. So we've got two questions going on. Can I hit the steel targets? And will this thing actually knock them over with a one inch barrel? I'll be lucky if I can hit them in the first place. <laughs> All right. Ready? Do it. Stand by. Paper. I hit it! And I missed it. <laughs> I can't reload! I've only got one cylinder! That cylinder gets hot too after <laughs> five rounds of magnet. I'm not keeping it. Oh. I guess you wouldn't, would you? Alright. You know, it's not super slow. It's actually faster to shoot it than it is to reload it. That's something, right? Oh. Range is clear. 12 seconds. Now, you got one steel hit? I did. I heard it. I actually saw two. Oh. Alright. So there's my first paper hit. A groin shot. Very effective. And a I don't know, a kidney, kidney shot. Kidney shot, right. That's some points, at That's least. Four points on paper. And you think two I, hits? You know what? I think I did, because this, this little baby thing does not look like a hit from any real cartridge. No, it doesn't. Uh, when you, I heard a hit on this, and I no, think... It, this one was a miss. Oh, there was yeah. a hit on so I, this one here and down at the bottom. There, there was oh. one at the base and one on and that one on the steel, and then okay. this one was over in the dirt. Okay, so just one. Then. one. All right, so a uh, grand total of seven points in 12 seconds, which gives me a final score of negative five. All right. Longer targets this time. The idea is you start at the end of the hallway, shoot the first two, the paper and the steel up there, and then you retreat back the hallway and shoot these two paper. And that, with this gun, is not a winning strategy, so I am not going to do it. I'm going to start at the front of the hallway, and then run away like a little girl to the back of the hallway, and shoot these two paper ones that I actually have maybe some chance of hitting. 
and I may or may not have a sneaky plan to make shoot through hits on the long paper. Clary, okay. Are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Ah! Oh, ho, ho, ho! steal! Oh! Nicely done. And it fell down. <laughs> Woo. So you get extra points for that, I think. All right. Let's clear the thing. Boop. What was my time? Was 10 seconds. 10. I mean, that's terrible by bug match standards, but pretty darn good by this thing standards. Interesting strategy. All right. Range is clear. 10 seconds. So I cleaned that one. Seven. And I cleaned that one, too. Those guys are close enough that I can actually hit them. The question is, did I get anything on the paper target here? I doubt it. That's a piece of shrapnel. It's not a full bullet. It's it a like you Still. Hold. Yeah, that's not a bullet. This, this one got away unscathed. Well, 20. I was aiming for him when I hit this guy. <laughs> 21. I will You're bet you, dude. <laughs> Where did you hit this thing? Because that's not yours. Probably this one right there. Yeah. That hole wasn't there <laughs> before, but I think I made that hole. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. no, no that crazy. was from the 10 millimeter. So this is like homeopathic 10 millimeters. As it gets smaller, it gets more powerful. Yeah, this got more bullshit. All right, so this stage is actually based on a real event here in Tucson where a TPD officer uh, engaged an active shooter at 40 yards from behind his patrol car. This is 40 yards. Uh, and took the guy out with a headshot. So... Uh, we are technically allowed six rounds for this, but I, of course, only have five in this little mini revolver. So we'll see if I can hit anything whatsoever. <laughs> are you ready? Sure. Stand by. There's something. Yeah. Two. All right. <laughs> I got two hits on the static steel, which means six points. 12. In 12 seconds. So that's a final score of negative six. <laughs> Good for me. So if you are thinking about uh, actually carrying one of these little things, I would highly recommend not. Uh, they are cute. They are neat little guns, but um, you've got much better choices if you're actually going to carry something. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.